Brothers and sisters, we stand here today again uh, for the ninth anniversary of what happened to uh, Afia Siddiqui, that we shouldn't, why we gathering is that we try our best to get her released and that she shouldn't be forgotten in our hearts and in our uh, work, that we should do our best to get her released. Afia Siddiqui has been uh, badly mistreated, chained, uh, tortured, and attacked, uh, her dignity was attacked and she was abused in every way, as you have heard all the previous speakers uh, accurately describing, sadly. And uh, Afia, Afia is a strong woman, like the, my previous speaker said. She, we, I am, we are saddened that what was happening to her is happening. And she lost her, her, her normal life, her family life, her children. And this is very sad to happen to anyone. When I was just mentioning some of the things that happened to Afia, to my wife, my wife said, if I, it was me, I would have died because of the harm and the, the, the sadness that can come to the heart to what has happened. So she is a strong person to, to be able to, to respond to all these things with uh, continuing you know, her, her struggle and continuing that she has hope and she, will, inshallah, would be released soon. But the, uh, what Afia does is like the case of Afia symbolizes many things to us. Her, her, her case is very, very important. And rightly so that brothers and sisters have this uh, organization, Jafek, to, to release Afia because of what Afia does symbolize. One of the things that really Afia amplifies and symbolizes is the weaknesses our weakness, the Ummah's weakness, the political, we politically how we have no representation who would fight and, uh, and demand the release of somebody who is a Muslim who has been under such treatment. Like you, we all know the case of Ammuriya, the woman who was mistreated in Ammuriya, the, 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 the big battle of Qaynuqa in Medina by the Prophet Sallallahu we, it's, it's, it symbolizes that sadness. The other thing that Afia's case symbolizes and amplifies to us today again is that those corrupt criminals that lead our countries, that the people in Pakistan, the, the criminals in, in Pakistan, the likes of Perwez Musharraf and the likes of these political people who sold Afia, who colluded. How did Afia come in the first place in the hands of the Americans? They colluded and conspired to sell their own, their own citizens, their own daughter, to be, to be subjected to such treatment as, as we have heard. Afia's case symbolizes and amplifies something else. It amplifies the double standard, the, 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 the war, this war on terror, the war as uh, the crusade, like Bush have described it, this new crusade and the war on terror, the unfairness, the, the, all the double standards that, that take place under, under, these, uh, under this war, the, the, the lying, the no due, due uh, justice that uh, people are just dragged from the streets, the, the, mo the, the hatred, the uh, injustice and the racism, how they mistreated, imprisoned and tortured without, without fearing any, anything. They do all these things without the fear of any response from anyone, like the force and strength and using as much power against everyone without fearing any retaliation or anything, which is, symbolizes all these things. These things are very sad. Like this day, before, like last year or the year before in Ramadan, we had a friend of mine who stood here and passionately spoke from his heart. He just came out from control orders and mistreatment himself and his family was under uh, lots of mistreatment. And he stood here in the memory again of Afia's incarceration, imprisonment. And he spoke here and how that we should do our best, how we should struggle on the path, on the way that we should defend not only Afia, as I say, Afia like the previous speaker said, there are many, many people who are in the same position as Afia. But because of what happened to Afia, she symbolizes all these things that I've described. And that man today is not, he spoke in a gathering like this, and then he led prayer in Ramadan. And on the same night, he was himself killed in a car crash. And this man is not here to see that Afia's release. But his, he would have been happy to be here today again and to speak his heart. And he would have been probably happy that his words, I'm sure, would not fall on deaf ears. So I am sure, again, all of you would 
do your best and we will continue that we get Afia released and free again. Zakum al